Hi and welcome to my second video in the series about uh, mutations and disease and today we're going to be looking at cystic fibrosis. So in cystic fibrosis um, it's associated with a very thick, thicky mucus buildup found within the areas of like, um, respiratory areas also, digestive and in some cases the reproductive system as well. Um, and it's to do with the production of this protein um, called the CFTR protein and so there's a gene for this and again this is sometimes referred to as the CFTR gene. Um, and so here you've got a diagram showing um, the airways or the airway tract of somebody and this is the epithelial cells um, then on the outside of those epithelial cells you have the cilia and then a layer of mucus surrounding that and in somebody with cystic fibrosis they tend to have a very thick sticky mucus um, and so if it's too sticky you can't remove the mucus um, and it can clog up the airways have problems with things like exchange and increase things like infections are too runny and it can flood the airways um, and so there are several scenarios that can happen here so this this represents our epithelial cell this is the mucus and this is the tissue fluid um, behind the epithelial cells and so if this mucus has a, a large amount of um, water in it then what will happen is the CFTR channel um, the protein that controls the motion of chloride ions will actually close and what will happen um, is sodium ions are pumped out of the cell into the tissue fluid. Some of the sodium ions that are in the mucus um, move into the epithelial cells and also some of the chloride ions can be directly pumped um, through channels between the cells. Um, and from there, because those ions have been moved out of the mucus, they physically change the water potential in the mucus and therefore the water moves from the mucus um, into the epithelial cell and therefore um, makes it thicker. Now in the opposite um, instance, if the mucus has too little water in it, then essentially what happens is you get chloride ions being pumped into the cell and then this CFTR protein um, or channel is open and that enables chloride ions to be pumped from within the cell um, to out. Um, the sodium ion here that you can see is closed and therefore what will happen is the water is moved from the inside of the cell to out making the mucus less thick and sticky. Now with somebody suffering from cystic fibrosis, this CFTR um, channel or protein doesn't work anymore. And so what they can't do is they can't regulate or cannot move the chloride ions um, from within the cell to out. And this has a knock-on effect with the mucus. And so the sodium ion channel still works and so that still pumps um, the sodium ions inside the cell. And now what happens is, because the chloride ions cannot move um, out of the cell, you therefore um, make this inside of the cell have a slightly more negative water potential. And so the water moves from the mucus into the cell, and that makes it very, very thick and sticky. Um, the reason why this protein doesn't work is because um, you've developed a mutation uh, within those cells that produce the CFTR protein. Um, because they don't function properly and therefore um, you end up having this um, which is effectively cystic fibrosis where this CFTR protein doesn't work and therefore you cannot move chloride ions um, out of the cells and therefore you can't regulate the warp potential um, very accurately and so you end up with a very thick sticky mucus which can clog up your respiratory um, areas also digestive and in some cases um, your reproductive areas as well so the way in which this um, cystic fibrosis can affect the lungs is because you build up this thick sticky mucus um, you would associate that with extreme coughing um, also breathlessness, um, a shortage of oxygen um, being provided to the cells that are required so you get a lack of exchange and so you would expect people with cystic fibrosis to get tired quicker and also because of this build up um, with the thick sticky mucus this makes it a perfect place for bacteria to breed and so you, people with cystic fibrosis have more infections um, within the reproductive systems, um, it can, in men it can physically block the sperm duct um, and so you can expect them to have a low sperm count. It can also affect the menstrual cycle within women um, and in some cases block up the cervix as well, so reducing the likelihood of fertilisation. Um, in the digestive system, it can block the action of the pancreas and the pancreas is associated with several types of digestive enzymes and so if the, if the ducts that 
serve the pancreas are blocked. You therefore reduce the level of digestion. So a common um, symptom of cystic fibrosis is malnutrition. Um, also, because it affects um, the pancreas, you, you're more likely to have diabetes or more likely to get diabetes if you suffer from cystic fibrosis.